Hey everyone, um, sorry for how I look right now. Um, I'm going to do a quick foundation routine. I was just laying outside, so I have my swimsuit on, so I apologize for that. But anyway, um, yeah, here it is. Okay, first thing I start out with is moisturizing. Um, I use the Cetaphil or Cetaphil. I don't even know how to pronounce it. That's what it looks like. It's non-greasy, fragrance-free, non-comal... I can't talk today, but anyway, it's for dry, sensitive skin. I mean, it does its job. I've been using it for years, so I just usually put it in the driest spots, which is my forehead and my nose. Okay, after that, I'm going to use my face primer, which I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Blend. It's oil-free. Um, this is a little on the expensive side. It's $38, um, but... I've been using it since I've started using face primers, so it's the only one I actually really have ever known. But um, this one helps even out skin tone. And it's like a orangey color. And as you can see, I have breakouts, so it helps sometimes correct that. Make sure you get your neck or wherever else you're going to put your foundation. This is the Revlon Photo Ready um, in Shell. This is um, one dark. Uh, shade darker than I had had in my haul video when I originally got this just because I've been tanning in summertime so I used to use a brush and then I just got really lazy and started using my hands so I usually use about that much you don't need a lot and since it's really inexpensive I don't really worry about using too much if it was like an expensive foundation um I probably would use a brush but first you want to get your t-bone which is like your nose and your forehead and you want to make sure you extend onto your neck. I just kind of like rub it in. There's nothing really special that I do. Um, usually during the school year, I spend more time doing this, but during the summer, just I don't care really. I mean, during the summer, all I wear is foundation and like what I'm going to show you today. I don't even wear eye makeup because I swim like every single day. And if you wear eye makeup, it just gets all black under your eyes and it just looks bad so next thing I use I use a two a couple different powders um, I use this Revlon powder first is pressed powder this is a color stay this one's a light shade um it was I usually would use a darker shade during summer but I put so much like bronzer on and everything later so it doesn't really matter that's what that looks like and for my powder I use the Walmart brush for the, their powder brush. Um, it's five dollars, really inexpensive, super small, s super smooth, and the bristles don't even come out. So, ooh, it needs to be cleaned. Anyway, I take that and just put it everywhere, pretty much. I've never done a tutorial, so I apologize if I'm doing something wrong or I don't know. Just leave advice. <laughs> And then another powder I use, I'm just going to use both today, is the Ulta Minerals Finishing Powder. And this is in... I don't even know. It doesn't say. Anyway, that's what I use. It looks like this. This is a loose powder. And I usually just put some in the cap and then use that. Um, I actually like this better than the Revlon stuff. It seems to give my face that better finish. Um finish that I can feel like all day too. I don't know. It's really hard to explain like how it makes my skin feel but it's cool. And this is like five or five to ten dollars at Ulta. But I mean if you're gonna go to Ulta I'll just make wait for the sales. They have sales all the time. Like buy two Ulta products, get one free, buy two, get two free. Okay, so I totally forgot to put my concealer. Usually um, I just put it under my eyes, around my nose, and then and if I have any breakouts. Um I use the One Base Cargo, it's concealer and foundation in one, and it is in, like, the lightest shade, I think, One Base, that's the shade, um, and it looks like this, it was $24, um, I like it a lot, and the, f um, application is, like, with one of these, which I like, um, I totally forgot to use that, I'm so sorry, um, bronzer, I use the... Um, Solar Power SPF Bronzer by um, Physicians Formula. And mine is, like I said, the SPF 20. Looks like that. 
And then the brush I use is um, the bronzer brush from Walmart. It was five dollars also. Um, and I just put it in there, and I put it. Right there. Um, and I usually just kind of like put it all over my face, especially in my nose and forehead area. But if it looks a little too dark, it's okay. Um, it'll lighten up with everything else I'm putting on next. Okay. And I usually don't use bronzer during the winter time just because I'm so pale and it's like really noticeable, but. Yeah. Okay, next, I use um, the Physician's for Formula Mineral Wear, um, some mineral correcting powder, and it looks like this. And this is just to smooth out any like blemishes or lines or anything. Um, and I have a brush for this, and I don't know where it is. Like I completely lost it. I I don't know. So I'm just gonna use my powder brush for now. Um, and I usually just put this all over my face. Like, lightly on the areas that don't really need it. And then a little heavier on, like, my nose. And if I have any breakouts, which is on my forehead right now. Okay, next I use for blush is the Clinique uh, Fresh Bloom All Over Color. It's Peony. It's in the bloom color. It looks like that. I got this at my CCO, and it was $20. I just put it on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, and last but not least, I use the um, Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl, Mineral Glow Pearls. Um, it just kind of like adds a little glow. Um, and I usually will use my blush brush for this. And I just kind of get it on there and go underneath my eyes and around the sides. And then maybe a little bit on my nose and forehead. Add that glow. And um, yeah, that is it. I'm so sorry I forgot to do the concealer. But if you guys have any questions, just don't be afraid to like leave a comment or whatever. And I apologize that it has taken so long for me to put up a video. Sarah is out of the country right now, and she will be till mid-June. So it's been my responsibility, and I've been so busy working and doing everything. So um, I apologize. So hopefully this makes up for it. See you guys soon. Bye.